Hello, Troublemakers! The day has arrived I have been looking forward to today for so long. As many of you know, I am the biggest Addison Race stand on the planet. I think that if all of humanity were to disappear except for her, it would be an improvement. Of course, this trailer for He's the Man, I have sung its praises. You probably saw my reaction on Ooga Booga, my second channel that seemingly only some of you know about. I like to keep it a secret, you know, it's just like an inside thing. I don't want to shout from the rooftops. It's not about getting the most people over there. It's just about, it's about having like a nice little community over there. So if you want to go and join, go ahead. If you don't want to, fuck you anyways. <laughs> He's all that. Yes. Look at that. Oh my God, just Slay Queen. Ooh, get it, get it, get it, get it. Mm. Ooh, the butt tap. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I fucking hate myself. Yes, yeah, so there's an extended dance battle. Wait, I, rock shell toes and I wanna fucking die already. Ah! <laughs> All right, how long is this? Hour and a half. Wish it was longer. I hope Addison Ray is on screen for the whole hour and a half because she is the only reason I'm watching this. She might be the only reason I'm actually watching this. A lot of this video is gonna be riddled with sarcasm. But if we're keeping it real, if a TikTok girl wasn't starring in this film, I probably wouldn't be watching it. Well, mainly because if they got like a real actress, the real actress probably would have done a good job. So it wouldn't be cringy and fun to roast. Let's have some fun. Time to wake up, Eddie. Ew, gross. Good morning, guys. It's me. You fake bitch. How to become the most spectacular you you can be. <laughs> That's the arc of this film. She realizes that she lives in this fake little bubble. And then at the end, she's just gonna be all natural. Just be yourself, guys. Be confident for who you are. No makeup, no glam. You don't need any of it. Oh my God. I just saw the whole goddamn film. Holy shit. We're literally one minute in. Lala09, cute name by the way, wants to know how- Oh my, this fucking bored already. <sighs> Stay in pocket, Dylan. Stay in pocket. This whole film so far has been uh, an Addison Rae Q&A. <laughs> It's a minute and a half and I'm bored. These Bunny Venom Revival Eye Patches. I had coffee last night, which is super dehydrated. I don't care. Work in some aloe head to toe glow oil to get- Don't care. And add a whisper of cream blush. Still don't care. Called 88 says she has a giant zit and they're taking- I don't care. I can't, I, how long is this gonna last? It's been like a, it's only been a minute since she started doing this. This feels like forever. Oh my God. Dab it on, dries it right out. <sighs> oh, you're done. Thank God. Two heart attack victims. A toddler with a watch battery stuck in her nose. Gentleman on meth with a stab wound to the neck. They were just thrashing around, cursing at everyone, spitting on the orderlies. Man, meth really- No, she's talking about the baby. God damn it. I hate this joke already. I I just saw the whole joke, a punchline, halfway through the joke. And it's a fucking terrible joke. And now I gotta listen to the rest of it. I don't want to hit unpause because I gotta, I gotta listen to it. Fuck. He messes you up. Oh no, that was the toddler. Ah! But that, the, the problem is that that's the opposite. You described a bunch of childlike behaviors. You're like, oh, you're spitting up everywhere and crying and acting, having a fit. And she would have, she should have been like, oh wow, that sounds like an unruly baby. And she would have been like, no, that was the meth head. That's the joke. The main character assumes the obvious thing, but it was the opposite. God, oh, fucking, how do you mess that joke up? Do you have any idea how my bill from the plumber got paid? Yeah, I've been with the repairman. <laughs> I saw the bill on the counter and I- What the fuck? She's a good daughter? That's not satisfying. Why is she a good person? I want to root for her to turn from bad to good. There's no satisfaction if she's good to good. Because there's no arc there. Break! <laughs> so she pretends that she lives in a fancy- She pretends like she lives in a fancy apartment? but instead she just lives in an average house. Oh no. I would rather have an average house than a fancy apartment. Cause guess what? You own real estate. Like you own a plot of land. You don't just own like part of the third floor of a build, like fuck. Um, I have work Friday and then- That's a fake five o'clock shadow that they gave him. That's fake. Start stealing your stuff. Yeah. That's not a real five o'clock shadow. It just looks like dirt. Look at how clean that line is. That's how I know it's fake. Either he went to a barber who was like, hey bro, the five o'clock shadow, I love it, but let me shape it for you. I gotta change this light. I'm feeling too angry. It just doesn't fit my mood right now. Give me a good red. Give me a fucking angry red. What's the angriest red I can summon? I'm pissed right now. Hi, little sis. Oh, don't forget to take your laxatives, dude. You need to stay regular. <laughs> oh my God. Do you more about it? We make our way up north. What? I effing love Legoland. I think I made a huge mistake. This is so cool. 
These two characters just had a long ass conversation and I didn't listen to any of it. I don't think this could be understated. I watch bad movies all the time and I pay attention. Bad movies, for the most part, still captivate me. I didn't pay attention to a goddamn word that they just said. Jordan! Jordan! It's a spacious trailer. What do you think they're doing? Okay, let's not freak out here, okay? Oh. Were they even making out? The first time we saw them on camera, they were like standing three feet apart. Why couldn't she walk in on them on top of each other? You don't deserve me! You don't deserve my love! And you're still alive. Why does she have to slap the phone out of her friend's hand? Her friend is acknowledging like, hey, whoa, I don't know that you should be freaking out because you're still alive. While she fully has the control over ending the live at any time. She's like, wow, you'd hate for this to get out. Let me continue to record. This is how I record. <laughs> you gotta do the two hand. Two handed right here. It's not just the breakup. I was humiliated. See, this is why I think Addison is so great. It would have been easy to come in and do what every other actor would do, which is act well. She wanted to do something different. She wanted to give a performance unlike any other actor. Tell me any other actor that would have came in and been like, I should just do these lines really poorly. She's making bold choices. It takes a really talented person to do something really poorly. Think about it. Why did Alden keep recording? And Alden must have been in shock. Yeah, well. I, I was about to say that. I think that other girl was trying to sabotage her. Guess you haven't looked online today? Yeah, so everyone takes his side. Oh my God. It's not even that embarrassing. She lost like 200,000 followers. She lost a fifth of her followers because her boyfriend cheated on her. This Is this reality? Do you think that would happen? Oh no. Who was it? Jessica Miles Torres? I thought she was, pl I thought Kourtney Kardashian was playing herself. My ex-husband's hiking accident was unfortunate and he was mauled by bears. If you're gonna have Addison Rae in this film, surround her with talented actors who can make up for her deficiencies. Don't just get a bunch of other Hold on now. I was about to say, don't get a bunch of other actors who can't act, but then I started to think, maybe they're trying to make Addison Rae look like a better actress by having an even worse actress next to her. I see this strategy here. Pulling my sponsorship? That's really problematic for my college. All right, so prediction time. In the end, she's gonna gain all her followers back, and then the bunny venom is gonna come. I hate that I just said bunny venom. This film is bringing the worst out of me. But fucking Kourtney Kardashian, and Bunny Venom is gonna come crawling back and she's gonna be like, no, I want to do something else. Fuck you. No, Jordan humiliated her. Okay, I did not say deserved, but- Ah, oh, hey, could this be any more sponsored by Core Water? Fuck you, Core Water. You can take anything or <sighs> anyone da, 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 and- da, da, da. She's gonna find a guy and then make him over and then he's gonna be handsome and attractive and everyone's gonna want him and then he's gonna find out. And once we win prom king and queen, I'll get back all my followers and my sponsorship. You better shut your mouth. Well, you're just leaving your core energy drink? Your core water, rather? Isn't it an energy drink? You're just leaving that core water behind? You wanna know what that shows me as a consumer? That it's not good enough for you to take with you. You might as well just leave it behind because it doesn't taste very good, it's not very valuable. That's what the film just taught me. Good job, film. Core, pull your sponsorship. Bankrupt this film. Make sure they can't do a sequel, please. There's a perfectly untouched orange next to a discarded math textbook. Now, if he pulled that orange out, of the trash and started eating it, then I would say this guy's worthy of transformation. Wait, he made one tweet in 2019 and all it said was no. Oh my God, this guy's not on social media. He's probably not desirable at all. Fascists. <laughs> Fascists. <laughs> Hola. Hi. Good times. Wait, um, where are you going? I thought you were finished. There's no, there's no creativity to these camera shots. You know what's funny? is I was like, oh, they thought they did something with this shot here. They're like, let's put a camera in the back of a truck. We're so artsy, we can do anything. And then they come to this and it's like, okay, center of the frame. Like the depth of field on this is probably just too much. It's like everything in the background is, is so blurry. It's there's too much depth of field. But then it's like center of frame, center of frame, back, forth, back, forth. And then it just kills the joke because they couldn't shoot it right. Okay, we're making the plunge. 1.5, hurry it up, get through this shit. <laughs> I just, there hasn't been a single thing that has happened that has interested me. Why are you suddenly so interested in my brother? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love him and all that, but that's just because I have to. That's just because I have to. That's like a stand-up bit. Get the fuck out of here. I hate this. Look, I have a lot of work to get done before school. So let me help. Then if there's time afterwards. This feels like a high school play. I just realized it. It's like everything could be a set with a fake background and you wouldn't know the difference. There's no like environment 
to any of these shots. It just feels like a fucking set. It feels like a recorded play. Do you have any previous writing experience? He's whispering every goddamn line. It's not helping. I think he's just so embarrassed to be reciting these lines. Next to the worst actor of all time. Sorry, Anderson. I'm no longer a stan. I think it was a baby horse. Maybe not a baby, but it was small. Does that count? No, I believe the word you're looking for is pony. Was this... Was this supposed to be a joke? Was this supposed to be humor? She's like, I used to ride a horse, but it was small. And he's like, have you ever heard of a pony? <laughs> I can't believe that's the fucking joke. <laughs> Holy shit. Who wrote the shit? R. Lee Fleming Jr. He won't even put his first name out there. He doesn't want you to know him. Yeah, that looks about right. What else have you written? You were you were a writer at Friends. Oh, he wrote She's All That. So, okay, I'm seeing the career trajectory here. He wrote She's All That, which was kind of a cult classic hit. And then he worked on a couple shows for just a couple episodes. Friends, One Tree Hill. Nothing of relevancy for the last 20 years. And the producers didn't take a step back and say, hmm, maybe there's a reason. Maybe there's a reason he hasn't had success. But no, 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 let's hire him. Because when he wrote She's All That, he was probably in his mid-twenties. But now that he's fucking 50, I bet he would be the perfect person to get to write for teenagers. I think he was a baby horse. Or maybe not baby, but it was small. I believe the word you're looking for is pony. Oh! <laughs> Attention earthquakes, a reminder to buy- You know, I make a lot of jokes, but I'm actually fucking angry right now. I just wanted to say thank you for this morning. My butt is so sore, I could barely walk. Things got messy. Uh, context, please? There's a funny miscommunication there. Instead of playing it off with different reactions, different expressions, it's just they deliver the joke, and then instead of allowing any of the funny to percolate, they're just like, uh, context? Out of context, that sounds pretty crazy. That's not funny. Be funny! <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. Ah, uh, I'm going through the fucking five stages right now. Anger, denial, defeat, <laughs> acceptance, Pity? I, what are the fucking five stages? Denial, I've hit that. She's making bold choices. It takes a really talented person to do something really poorly. Anger, I've been there. Ah! Bargaining, I miss bargaining. Well, actually, no, I hit bargaining. Core, core water. Core, pull your sponsorship. Bankrupt this film. So I guess we hit bargaining. Depression, I'm here and acceptance. I don't know that I'll ever live in a world where I fully accept this film exists. And as a way of saying thanks, director. Actually, since we look at the writer, let's look at the director. Mark Waters. Easy pun. Mark Waters. Water. Wet. Got it. You know what, Mark? I was really hoping this film would make a splash. Hire me. Let me write your next dumb Netflix fucking movie. What are we even doing here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Eating free Pizza Hut is what we're doing. It's not just pizza. It's Pizza Hut. You don't drop the brand name. Unless you're getting paid. Just a bit jealous of it sounds like they're constipated, but for some reason they're happy about it. <laughs> but I'm going to college in New York. Where are you guys going? Kind of opting out of that whole thing. Queller doesn't believe in college. Woo! All right, finally, the first thing I like about this guy. He understands the college scam system. Guess it's my turn. Ah, oh, she's gonna be a good singer. Oh, wait, no, I've listened to Obsessed. Another Ooga Booga video. And if I lost you, I still have me. She might as well just get a residency in Vegas, am I right? No! She's not very good! So now the film's trying to convince me that she's a like this phenomenal prodigy singer. Stops when you look at and he's falling for her? You're enjoying this! How? What's going on? Gordon's her ex. He totally humiliated her in front of like a zillion people. Oh, no, 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 not to do it! This is not High School Musical. You can't pull it off. Don't do it. Oh! She's in trouble on stage. I better go save her. Fuck me. Ah. Really awful idea. I just pulled. I pulled a muscle in my tongue. Ah, oh, it hurt so bad. It hurt so bad. This film is causing me literal pain. God. I can't even yell because my tongue hurts. <laughs> Let's see it. You made me see 
actually kind of good. No, they're, <laughs> they're not at all. Uh, can I get some KFC to go? Yeah, sure. They're sponsored by KFC. I don't know. I don't know why they're intentionally working in brand names. Wait, wait, are Pizza Hut and KFC, are they owned by the same fucking company? KFC and Pizza Hut's popcorn chicken, they're owned by the same company. These motherfuckers thought they were sly. They thought they could get you with the core energy. You won't notice. Subliminal marketing. That's how they get you. You don't even notice, but I'm here. Daddy Dylan's here to point it out. I wish I didn't call myself Daddy Dylan just now. But instead of saying, hey, there's free pizza, she said, we can't leave this party. There's free Pizza Hut. If it was Domino's, we would leave. And now she's like, hey, we got to get some KFC. Um, it's finger looking good. You got to always be wary of these tricksters and their brand placements. It's bullshit how they do it. They just try to slide it in like you won't even notice. This video is sponsored by Audible, by the way. Audible is the world's biggest source of spoken word entertainment. They have it all. They have a ton of mystery thrillers, sci-fi fantasy, young adults, which I must admit is most of what I listen to. A lot of you got excited because I had the cruel prince in the background of a video, and I thought the book was pretty good, but there's something keeping me from like actually reading the sequel. It's actually kind of the perfect candidate for me to get the audiobook because it's so much more satisfying to have someone read it out loud to you. It just helps immerse me in the world. Plus, I could do other things while I listen to it. You ever go grocery shopping while listening to an audiobook? It is heavenly. Each month that you're signed up for Audible, you get a credit to spend on any audiobook across Audible's massive library. I'm going to leave a link in the description below that's going to give you a free 30 days of Audible, which means you actually get one free credit to spend on anything. And while you have your trial, you also get access to the Plus catalog, which is filled with gems. An affair of poisons? I love affairs and poisons. You can tell that the Plus catalog really knows my interests because they mostly just recommend teen audiobooks to me. <laughs> the link to the free 30 days will be in the description, but you can also go to audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble, or maybe even easier, you could just text Dylan is in trouble to 500 500. Snag your free 30 days and select any audiobook you want. Audible has literally almost everything. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. Your camera was in the glee. Green screen, green screen, green screen, green screen. Green screen. You do anything to hurt him, I'll put a croquem bouche in your croquem face. Is there is there a point in me critiquing at this point? Should we just sit in the cringe? Is that what we're gonna do for the rest of this film? That's uh, we're only a third of the way through this. I feel like I've been suffering for days. Also, look at this house that she's ashamed of. This is a good house. Do anything interesting? Million views that <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking sorry. There's a hair in the corner of my eye, but I can only see it if I shake my head like this. Me trying to f get this hair is the most entertained I've been in the last hour. Oh, here it is. Found you, you bitch. Can you see it? This is important to me. You need to be able to see it. <laughs> Who cares? Who's the new guy? A little scruffy, but cute. So this, so like this no bullshit fashion person is like, hey, this guy who you haven't done a makeover for at all yet is pretty cute. So you have external acknowledgments that the this loser that you picked is actually a good looking person. It's a makeover. Ooh, go on. Hey, I thought you were gonna watch the Blue Bloods marathon with me. Uh, who are you? Tommy Selleck waits for no one. You know, I understand that I'm gonna be cutting parts of this movie out, but if you've watched this movie, that is the first fucking time we've seen that lady. She could just be a random stranger that stumbled into this house. We wouldn't know the difference. You're not gonna acknowledge it? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, we could just assume. Context clues be like, yeah, it's the grandmother. But we've been in their house for the last several minutes of film, and she's been there the whole time watching television. We haven't heard, seen, or acknowledged her in any form. The fuck? I feel like I'm living in a crazy world. Now that I lost my sponsorship, don't even know if I'll be able to pay for college. You lost one sponsorship. You have a million followers. <laughs> there are people that have that get no help whatsoever. Just regular people, no social media following. They just they pick up part-time jobs. They work their way through school. And you're just like, well, if I don't have this one sponsorship, then I can't go to college. Yes, you fucking can. Even if you don't get scholarships, there's student loan programs, you can get through it. You privileged little bitch. Kids on the camera, but you got in winter run. <laughs> Thanks. The sound design on this, also really bad. Let's just pick at every production part of this movie. Costume design, 
Awful. Props department, fucking stupid. Plastic cups, what, you don't care about the environment? Background actors, stupid. Father lives in Sweden, his choice. And after our mom died. Oh, I am so sorry. You must miss her a lot. Laramie. You must miss her a lot. I, I have never in my entire life seen a dramatic line delivered any more plainly than that line was just delivered. That was the most flavorless line delivery I've ever seen in my entire life. I am so sorry. You must miss her a lot. You must miss her a lot. A robot could have delivered that line better. <laughs> oh my <love. laughs> He's fucking ripped. <laughs> That's the funniest part. He's just this loser who's a goddamn gym addict. Oh. It's important. She's giving him a haircut. Come on, just come out. Wow. I'd say you look pretty hot, right, Padgett? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> she can't act at all. I don't know what you did to that camera guy, but. Literally just gave him a haircut. I was on my way to pick her up and she just texted me and said it's over. My fans of my vulnerability. Wait, you guys aren't recording? Oh my god. Guys. All right, come on. I need another. <laughs> That's okay. I was about to make fun of him, but he might actually be a fun character. <sighs> I lost it. Always be recording. My bad. All right? <laughs> <laughs> I like him. See, he's over the top douchey. Oh, I can't. I like the Girl Meets World guy. He was the worst part of Girl Meets World. Not everything was the worst part of Girl Meets World. Your Aniston's problem now. You're still mad about that? That was like two weeks ago. I'm sorry. I'm going to slow it down for his scenes because I'm liking him right now. I had something else to tell you. What? We belong together. I, just... I don't care. And by the way. I'm sorry. It's not an equal balance. Like, as much as I enjoy seeing him on screen play this douchey over the top character, I can't watch him act across from this black hole of sadness that is Addison Rae's acting. I, I don't want to be mean. Well, that's not true. <laughs> I really think she could have dedicated herself to actually fucking trying, though. Addison, if you can look me in my eyes through a camera, because you'll never talk to me. <laughs> if you can look at us and say, you put the fucking effort in, like, you practice all day and night. You were skipping meals. You, like, bailed on your friends. Like, you put your all into this, and this was the best you could do, then I'll say fair play. But I don't think you did that. I think your manager just one day hit you up. Hey, you want to be in a film? You were like, sure. When does it shoot? Two weeks from now? Fuck it. Let's do it. You don't give a shit. That's what I think happened. Too. Dude, she's so overreacting. You shut up. He asked me if I wanted to get a drink, so I said okay. And then we went into this big room with a pool table, and we were just kissing. Guilty? But then he started going for more, so I bunked him with the pool ball. Yeah, which hurt, by the way. <laughs> yeah, which hurt, by the way. He's got charisma. He's bringing something to this film. He's the... He's literally the first person to bring anything to this film. I don't even think he's that good in this film. It's like if you didn't eat for six days, and then someone fed you a saltine cracker, you'd be like, this is the greatest thing I've ever eaten in my life. You wanna go, man? Let's go. Why'd you just take off your shirt? I don't know. That's for me to know and for you to find out. What? <laughs> That's funny. Why is he good at fighting? I'm badass. I dare you to try that again. Hands behind his back. <laughs> what am I doing here, Padgett? I mean, why after four years did you suddenly start talking to me? Maybe there's just a sense there was more to you than what you let everyone see. And what if I like it that way? Well, then that really breaks my heart. <laughs> Even at 1.5 speed, the cringe is just intolerable. Who needs shirts? Okay. Oh no, her asshole best friend is also seeing her ex. That day in Jordan's trailer, my entire life was falling apart and you didn't press stop. I thought we were friends. Yeah, well, things aren't always the way they seem. We know you're poor. Let's talk. Please, you can't afford a car. You live in that humpy little shack on Clinton. Oh, you're not rich. How embarrassing. There's actually something I wanted to talk to you hey, about. Hey, you, my man, are rock star. You wanna hear a poem? Sure. Cameron Queller, interstellar. Cameron one, Jordan zero. King Cameron, you're my hero. Fight the power, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, you can see in the writing room, the man is sitting there. He's like, yo, what if I have this completely inconsequential character recite a poem? Iconic. How could anyone not love it? It's going to be the greatest scene in film history. 20 years from now, they're going to be speaking of my greatness for writing this scene. It makes me nervous because if I am ever as out of touch as this writer is with teenagers now, when I... M50? Then I don't want to be anywhere near the internet. I better be retired to a farm in Montana. Here's what we're gonna do. Somehow there's still a whole half an hour left. We are gonna endure. We won't quit because we're not quitters. We're gonna endure this last half an hour. I'm going to find a way to enjoy these moments. I mean, look at this one. Oh. 
Oh my god, I am so sorry. Oh, you klutzy TikTok girl. There's something I need to tell you. And I need to tell you something too. Okay. <laughs> Over or under a 2% chance that she actually tells him he's part of the bet right here. It's under. It's under 2%. She's not telling him here. I hate this trope. It's like, oh, she was so close to telling him, but she just didn't. Then why am I here? Because I trust you. She can't tell him that. Oh, maybe. This Pizza Hut own old baby too? Enjoy it, Dylan. Enjoy it. I love brand integrations. Okay, complicated, good or complicated. There's never a difference in time of day either. Every part of this film takes place midday. There was one party at night. Everything else is in the middle of the goddamn day. First kiss is gonna be awkward. First time having sex, I can be even weirder. So was the last time, because you never know if it's gonna be your last. <laughs> Jay, Dylan, put a smile on your face. Love this film. You have to prom pose. Oh yeah, you gotta prom pose, bro. I can't wait for this scene. Oh my God, Cameron. No, this isn't usually my style, obviously, but uh. Oh, how cute. Do you wanna tell him or should I? What's she talking about? It's <laughs> There's nothing interesting about this scene at all. I mean, everything is interesting about this scene. Specifically how there's nothing interesting. It's like a new flavor of vanilla. Everyone loves vanilla ice cream, right? Imagine a new flavor. It feels like people should be surrounding them. There should be like a big scene. Make a big deal out of this. The biggest loser we could find so she could turn him into prom king. But that was before. What? No, I was a fucking vet. Oh, dropping the F-bomb. <laughs> then I'll go to hell. Oh, drop that H bomb. Cameron, I know I covered this in the 800 texts you haven't returned. I am so sorry, and I just want to make sure you're okay. Maybe he's not responding to you because you don't fucking sound sorry. I'm so sorry, Cameron. Cameron, please forgive me. I wouldn't forgive you either if you had that fucking monotone apology. Why are you here? Everyone's parents should just be dead, like Cameron's parents. Because who fucking cares? You know. I convinced myself. Here's the thing. Listen, listen. You know, I convinced myself. You know, uh, uh, actors who've had like four days of training think that's good acting because they're like, clearly I didn't plan out what I was saying because I stuttered slightly over a word. So it's more natural that way. That's not how you deliver lines naturally by going. I can go to any acting class for first time actors. You'll see actors trying that because they think it's good acting. I know you two have lost so much more than me, but I've lost a lot recently. My self-respect, I lost my college fund, I lost my friends. She had the nerve. She could have just been like, hey, I've been going through a tough time recently. Can you understand that? But instead she was like, hey, I know you went through a lot, you know, with your dad not only leaving you, but fleeing to another country to escape you. But then your mom fucking dies in a tragic plane accident. But I suffer too. I've lost followers. We're the same. You went out of your way to equate their loss with your suffering of hey, I might not get this brand deal. Oh, boo hoo. It's okay. Hey, hey, we're just here to have fun. Have fun. That's what we're doing. We're just having fun. We're not getting angry. Who's angry? <laughs> Are you angry? I'm not angry. I'm fine. Formal wear. Or the closest thing I could find to it in the closet. Dude, it's a disaster in there. Why are there so many Skittles on the floor? Because I spilled some Skittles. I went into your closet. Why are there so many Skittles on the floor? Because I spilled Skittles. That's the, that's, that's the punchline to that joke. You've been smiling again and you've been happy and I just lost mom and there's nothing we could have done about that but now you have a choice so just, just don't lose her, okay? I don't mind her performance there, but her logic is, I know this girl fucking tricked you to make a joke out of you, but we lost our mom. So no matter what happens, abuse, gaslighting, whatever it is, whatever she does to you, don't lose her because we can't lose anyone else. <laughs> Thank God. We need you to start the dance. Big night, huh? When are you gonna become a permanent loser? I'll get it done as soon as I can. They have to tattoo loser on them or something. Which is like, oh my God, the stakes are so high. That's the bet. That's the price of the bet. We have some weird ass traditions at this school. See, it's like self-referential. It's like being like, hey, this is pretty weird that we have this as a tradition. Which is funny, but the rest of the film has to follow suit with that like self-referential making fun of itself. And it's not doing that. Good stuff. Good. That was great. Your 2021 prom queen, Padgett Sawyer. This is me, and this is also me, but I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. It's all fake. This is the real me. And so is this. Without makeup? Oh, gross. I didn't know girls had the ability to not wear makeup. I thought they were born like that. Putting out this image of who I wanted people to think I am with perfect makeup. 
for the clothes. You think he's so brave to present your real self on social media, yet you know that you get the most praise on those posts. Like, oh my God, so relatable. So brave of you to show that you are a human being. She has so much courage to show that she actually has zits from time to time. Let's give her an award. Fuck off. I only wish I didn't have to lose him to learn it. Second place is coming through, makes some No, you were in second place. Yes, you, you actually came in fourth. He gave her a grand gesture. He rode up on horseback like a knight in shining armor after he was this embarrassing little plaything for her bet. Oh. There is one thing in your speech that you got wrong. What was it? You didn't lose me. You never really lost me. <laughs> oh. Seriously? I had said this in like the first five minutes. She's gonna reject this, this brand deal proposal. I'm done with her. Guess where we are? Portugal! Hard to believe we're already six days into our trip. Say hi, Cameron. Why are they in Portugal? Aren't they in high school? Did she take a gap year? She was going to college in New York. Never say I'm someone who watches on a bet. Oh my God. Why am I getting emotional? I'm getting emotional. Like it's over. It's over. I'm so happy. Oh, what is happening? I'm fine. I'm 100% I'm fine. I just want to cry. Like joy inside, like it's just all mixing inside of me right now. This film broke me. I promise, like everything in my life is fine. Like I'm good. It's it's all this film. It's not anything else. <sighs> I feel sick though. Like, I'm hot. I, I do. I have a fever now. Oh, I feel sick. I'm. I just. I'm flushing hot right now. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm going through a gamut of things right now. Let's go ahead and end this here. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, visit audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble. Reward me for finishing this. I'll see you guys next time. All right, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs>